So I'm with Darren Cudd at Alitech Precision here. And what we're going to do is uh, talk about tool holders and the differences between maybe a lower cost version and what these guys get here from WNT in their Centro P range. So Darren, firstly, tell us about uh, maybe the, the tool holders that you used to use and move on to then what you now use and what the differences are or you've seen. Okay, um, yeah, so we were using your bog standard ER32, ER16 collet range. Um, primarily cost when you start the company, you know, lots of people sell them, really quite good value. Um, what would that be approximately for something like that? Um, something like that, you're normally talking 50, 60 pound for a holder. Collets are normally anything from sort of six to 15 pound each. Okay, and then you've been using these for a long time, been doing you good service and still continue to, yeah, but absolutely. you did embark on, on checking out what other solutions were available, didn't you? Tell us about that. Okay, yeah, so we've, we've kind of gone two routes. Um, we looked at heat shrink primarily when we got our fire axis because we needed a lot of really deep long reach components making. Um, and also we've recently brought a DM2 Hass with 15,000 RPM spindle, so we needed to look at something beyond the balance range of a standard ER collet. And you went to WNT, correct? Yeah, correct, yeah. And tell us about what they uh, offered you or supplied you with and what differences that has made. Okay, um, I and mean, we actually saw the Centro Pro at Hass's demo on the DM2. Um, so we looked into it from there, had the rep come out, talked through all the options. I'm quite pessimistic normally when salesmen come out and they tell you know this, that and the other, you think, yeah, yeah I've heard it all before. Um, but to be fair, they've been absolutely brilliant. Is this Warren? Yes, it was Warren, yes. Yeah, I know Warren well. So tell us about the Centro P then and, and um, yeah, what it's doing for you now. Pick one up and show us it. Okay, so we've got two different sizes. Um, as I said, we primarily brought these for our DM2, hence we've gone with very short gauge lengths because of the lack of Z on that machine. So we've gone ER25 and ER16. They are uh, retro usable with standard collets, but what we did on what Warren recommended is we've also gone with their high precision collet system so I believe if you're talking about 20 micron run out on a standard ER collet these are rated at around about 2 micron run out. So what's good about the Centro P then what gives you the better results is it the fact that it's this collet or is it the combination of the tool holder and the collet? It's a combination so primarily as said we did it because of the RPM um, but it's a combination of the two for accuracy. So I believe the holders are rated at around one micron run out, the collet's two. So if you're comparing that to what we were using on a 20 micron collet, I believe the holders are probably say five micron. It's quite a marked difference. And it's quite self-explanatory to gain then that that's obviously gonna give you a better finished part, isn't it? Absolutely, much better finish. Um, we find we can go a lot faster. The tools are lasting a heck of a lot longer. So yeah, it's win-win on multiple directions. Do the tool holders cost more though, going for the, the WNT Centro? Is the outlay more initially, but what we're saying here is uh, over, over the long term, or even the short term really, you're gonna get those benefits that you just suggested? Yeah, so the holders are more. Uh, typically, we're probably talking double what a standard cheaper ER collet range was. Um, but as you said, long term, or maybe not even so long term, with the savings we're getting on the tooling, it's not going to take very long to pay itself back and that's without even accounting for the fact that we're running faster feed rates now because we can with this holder. So it's better, it's better for the machine tool, it's better for the component, it's better for tool life as well. Three big benefits. Tell me then about the shrink fit side, let's go on to that. Okay, so um, as said the heat shrink we did primarily for the five axis but we've actually found them so good we're now starting to use those in the three axis machines as well. Lots of options out there again on heat shrink. One of the primary factors for us was one piece heat shrink, so you obviously need an induction heater to change the tools. So you're probably talking anything from a five to 15,000 pound layout, depending on how fancy you want to go with that induction heater. The beauty with these, because they're two piece, you can actually use a much cheaper heat gun for actually changing the tools. So you're probably talking typically 400 pound for the heat gun over an induction heater cost. And what's, what's better with the actual solution once you've got the heat shrink tool there again is it for longer is it for longer tools are you getting uh, similar runouts what's what's the advantage um a bit of both really so yeah the run out on them is incredibly good um i would say as good as the wnt possibly a little bit better you're, you're talking microns um and yeah but it is primarily for reach obviously down deep pockets and so who are these ones supplied by so these are mst which are done through mitsubishi um and i think the primary primary reason with the two pieces it just gives us a bit more kind of 
access into chopping and changing a lot more because we've got different gauge length back ends. We can swap out the front. So we've got, you know, non-coolant versions. You've got versions with through coolant. So it just reduces cost really on having to hold tens of thousands of pounds worth of heat shrink tooling in the building. So overall here, for, for you as a business, you, you've only been going three years and you've got your new spinner five axis machine here as well. We've been talking about cam solutions today. Tooling, is this a big part of, of making your parts faster, making them more reliably, making them more accurately and, and keeping the machines uh, or the spindles turning as we say at MTD? Yeah, I mean, you know, you never stop learning in doing what we do. Um, it's been a fair old learning curve for us on the tooling recently, but you could say my eyes have been opened substantially the last few months and yeah you know we're so happy with what we've got now that we will very rapidly phase out i think all of the standard er collet range and go for the centro pro and the heat shrinks on everything okay brilliant thank you very much so there you have it it's always good to talk to engineers that are at the coal face really that are using these new tools and it's good to see that by using equipment like this you can obviously get time savings on machining parts you can get better tool life you can make your machine tool last longer so overall some better solutions in view here thank you very much for your time today Darren no problem